let me tell the topic of the speech. His topic is respect all for the lap singer. Now this speaker is somebody <coughs> who loves to give her speech after speech, who loves to give her speech every week, who makes everybody feel lost in me. But that is not his intention. Because public speaking is his passion. Because public speaking is his passion. passion. His fast and furious, prompt and smart. His fast and furious, prompt and smart. He is Rohanna. His fast and furious, prompt and smart. He is Rohanna. Fast and furious, prompt and smart. Put your hands together for Rohanna. Incognito. 
that is, if they would be identified for who they were, another cycle of 14 years would start. So in that last year, the Pandavas with their wife, Draupadi, took refuge in the palace of King Bharat. Believe me, started working for them. The fireborn Draupadi became a handmaiden for the queen. The righteous Yudhishthir became an assistant to the king. The mighty Bhim became a cook. The invincible Arjun donned a sari and became a dance and music master for the princess. The handsome swordsman Nakul and the axe-wielding green seer Sahadev started working in the stables looking after horses and bovine animals. The point is, the kings and queen of Indraprasth, titans of warfare, became servants for someone else. Ladies and gentlemen, what lessons do we learn from this story? First, even the mightiest and the most powerful can fall from their perch. So nothing is gone. And second, we must respect those who are working for us because we may not know they may be an archer or a property or even a unit. Ladies and gentlemen, my father is a CXO level executive of a six company liquor conglomerate. When the earthquake hit Nepal, April 2015, my father was in Kathmandu. The building in which he was staying developed cracks and became unsafe. When the evacuation process started, Indians were given serial numbers. And my father's turn came for the third day. So from the day of the earthquake, Till the day he was evacuated, my father's chauffeur opened his house for him to stay in. Believe me, my father's friends and colleagues are the who and who of Nepal, living in big bungalows and multiple high rises. But all of them had become the same. And so my father's driver, Shakti, became his biggest day. Ladies and gentlemen, the point that I'm trying to make here is we must make it a habit to respect all no matter how unimportant or how insignificant they may seem in our lives. Because if we do not respect the born, we will never get the queen. If we do not respect those who are working for us, we may miss out on our Arjun. If my father had not respected his driver, 